it's going to be video two, part two. So let me give you a little disclaimer about the ancient Near Eastern thought process. They thought that everything started first in the spiritual realm. Then we violated in the spiritual realm and had to come to a realm created for us, which is the corner realm, in order to fix all of that karma so we can go back into the spiritual realm. See that same thought when you in the Bible when everything of the old covenant or that corner covenant is being replicated in the new covenant under a spiritual essence because it started with the spirit it went carnal now we got to get back to the spirit so that's what the bible's doing taking us back to the spirit you have a bunch of carnal people asking about a carnal kingdom that's not what the bible is trying to do example luke 17 uh verse 20 once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, the kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed, nor would they say, look, here it is, or there it is. For in fact, the kingdom of God is among you and other places have within you other books. In other words, Christ was telling them it's something you're going to experience. It's not going to be like what happened in the old covenant, carnality with kings and etc. Lord. I was going to say it uh, another way. We got Romans 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. See, the kingdom of God was a reality, something that they experienced, something that they feel, something that was inward, so how they interacted with people, how the Holy Spirit had them being with people. It wasn't something like a physical locale, like this is the kingdom of Israel here. In Samaria, it's the, it's the northern kingdom, and etc. They, they wasn't able to do that no more. Let me show you another way. Ephesians 2, verse 5 and 6. Even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, more spiritual stuff, by grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. According to Paul, they had already resurrected with the body of Christ, and they were presently being seated they was presently seated in heavenly places. They was already in the kingdom of heaven in the book of Ephesians. Let's look at John on Patmos, Revelation 1 and 9. I, John, your brother, who share with you in Jesus the persecution and the kingdom and the patience endurance was on an island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. John had that even though he was in Patmos in exile, he was actually in the kingdom. By the time the first century came about, Christ had already opened up their minds to a new way of living, to a new spirituality. He had translated from earth, from carnality, to spirituality, allowing them to enter into that heavenly kingdom. Part three is coming next.